Why would I choose Einstein Inject? What kind of results can I expect? What are the potential risks involved with Einstein Inject? Keep watching to gain confident understanding about the latest glaucoma innovations and reduce MIGS overwhelm. This video was in part supported by Glaucos. Hello, and welcome to the iGlaucoma YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Constance Okeke. I have added Eisen Inject to my armamentarium of MIG surgeries, and I'm excited to share with you the now second video on Eisen Inject of the iGlaucoma video series called MIGS University, where we're all about learning innovation step by step. If you missed the first video of the series that reviewed the what, where, and how of Eisen Inject, click on the link below or on the card above to check it out. Let's dive in. So first up, why choose Eisen Inject? Well, first and foremost, I'd say it's because it works. With the first generation eye stent, I had good outcomes with proper patient selection. Now with two stents, I can have even greater efficacy for a wide range of patients. What the eye stent inject now offers is an elegant, precise, and tissue sparing procedure that works well to lower IOP. It also may reduce medications and has a safety profile of cataract surgery alone. Now let's talk about success rates. In the FDA Pivotal trial, the change in unmedicated diurnal IOP on, in the Eisten Inject Plus FACO group was a 31% reduction from baseline, or in millimeters of mercury, a seven point drop in eye pressure. Nice. Also, there was 84% of those patients who were responders were medication free at 23 months. Even nicer. In a three year consecutive series with Eisten Inject, in opening glaucoma patients in Germany, from the mean IOP of 22.6, there was a 37% sustained reduction in mean IOP for three years and a 68% reduction in mean medications or from 2.5 meds to 0.8. These results are really robust and exciting because I've actually been seeing this type of efficacy in my own clinical practice along with a very simple post-operative course. And I believe this device will be beneficial for a much wider range of my glaucoma patient population. Now, what's the catch? What are the potential risks? What I have always liked about the first generation eye stent is that it is really a safe procedure. The great news about the eye stent inject is that it also offers the same high safety profile, very similar to cataract surgery alone. No myopic shifts, no hypotony with flat ACs, no maculopathy or psychodialysis, no significant hyphema or corneal decompensation. Overall, this is really good news for cataract surgeons wanting to make a real impact to help their glaucoma patients lower IOP or drop drops. <laughs> that sounded funny. Also, it gives real potential of routine post-operative care like cataract surgery alone. Also, great news for glaucoma specialists, cataract surgeons, and referring optometrists who are truly looking for a less invasive approach that can actually significantly make a dent in those patients that we often see in our clinics. What do you think? If you fit one of these descriptions above, write in the comment section below the video. Okay, did you stick with me the whole way? Awesome. And if you want to know what you need to know about the basic how-to steps of performing the eye stand inject surgery, and also the when to best use the device in which patients, stay tuned for the next videos in the MIGS University series on the how and when of eye stand inject. Remember to check out the link below or card to get access to the first video on the what, where, and how of eye stand inject if you missed it. Hey, if you liked the video, please let me know by pressing the like button if you have a friend or colleague who can benefit, and I'm sure you do, be sure to share the video so that they can also enroll in MIGS University. Also, if you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe to iGlaucoma and click on the bell to be notified when it comes out. We'd love to hear from you. What did you learn that stuck with you the most? Was it the IOP lowering ability, the reduction of drops, or the safety profile? We'd love to know. So take this short quiz and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place where glaucoma innovation is made easy for eye care professionals.